Hey guys, Rubber Toe Assembly here with another 10 by 8 Lifetime Outdoor Shed Assembly. And here we're going to section 8, the narrow window wall pane. And first thing you want to do here is lay in the weather stripping tape that they give you with it. Uh, starting on the top left corner, like right there is where I usually start on that corner. <coughs> and then come on down the left side with the tape and you run this stuff right into the groove there's a little groove there that goes all the way around the window and you just lay this stuff in there going down the left side on the inner side of the panel go down the left side just like you see here and go around your bottom corner it can be kind of tricky sometimes but you don't really want to press it in there too tight just just so it comes apart from the t from the paper tape there and then you just lay in that little rubber weather stripping stuff it's kind of sticky um, some of the older models have I think a gray colored stuff same stuff uh, and you just lay it in just like you see here into that little groove all the way around left side down the bottom and then all the way up the right side and then across the top and then you cut off your excess a little bit or sometimes I push it into the groove there try to use it all make use of it so yeah you got a nice uh, bead going all the way around the window with that and it's lined up nice and neat in the groove pretty much all the way around yep right there and then you lay in your window you peel both sides just like you see here they're ready to go peeled both sides inside and outside and then these window holes you got to make sure they line up the right way there's a see there that was upside down I flipped it real quick to make sure that the holes line up before you drop it onto that little sticky stuff and then boom when you see all the holes all the way around are kind of lining up the way it's supposed to be then you know you got it right and then you can slowly lower it down perfectly so that each hole going all the way around that um, where the window is there's like I think 16 or, or something holes uh, each one is lined up nice with the with the little pre-drill hole spot where it goes they're all the way around the window pane and then you take the screws that come with it uh, number two Phillips and if you're going to use your drill gun of course set your torque you know fairly low so you just go around and put these screws in and you want to keep it nice right where it's at you don't want this thing bumping all over the place but yeah you just go around and put the screws in just like you see here zip 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 all the way around and then you'll have your window in with the rather stripping uh, inside as well ready to go and you just do the same procedure as you see here on the other one this one I think is the left or the right one and, and then the other one is done the same way so then there's these two in the front that are going to be your first panel and your last panel um, and the doors are going to be in between the two the left and the right door so there you see here all the screws are in snug down nice zip zip just do this times two easy peasy on to section 8.3 the uh, window pane uh, this one you can actually put this uh, window panel in the back line of the shed like the opposite side from where the doors are it's where it shows where it goes right in the middle and so I'm just showing you here this section in the instructions where the window goes right in just like you see here it slides on the inside of that little groove there on the left and right side and then you get it to go around the middle part there overlaps it and then tucks in underneath the bottom as well and it gets two little window locks I call these things uh, with two little screws there's one and then the second one Sometimes I put this window in when, you know, after it's already up because I like to keep um, keep the window open there where I can put my arm through and uh, either raise the panel or lower the panel when I'm putting the walls together. Anyways, the locks are just like you see here. They go on two screws, the same typical screws all over that come with it. They're all in the same bag. You just zip them on there. I like these snug, you know, give it a turn or two if it's too loose because... I like to just I don't like them wiggling around but yeah as long as they're both on they're nice they slide to the left and to the right so you can unlock and lock your window and then it gets a set screw right in the middle at the bottom a little set screw which is next putting that one in 
there you see it there boom goes right there I usually put these like um, halfway to three quarters of the way in it's just a little stopper screw goes halfway up and then right to about there because if you want all four of those squares to for ventilation you can actually pull that window out just like you saw me put it in and then just slide it back in the same way you did a minute ago all right and then you lock your locks you're all set on that to section 8.6 to 8.17 which is a wall assembly which are all the panels here like I just said a minute ago your first panel and your last panel are going to be these slim window pane panels and they go just like you see just like all the other panels they drop right into those grooves right where you see there this is the 8 by 10 so you'll see a little hole um, you gotta have your flooring laid out correctly where you have your left hole and your right hole for the doors to match up should be right there um, I believe I took the grommet out the bushing actually for the door that's way you have to take it out from underneath the flooring to get that first panel in there anyway you can see the second panel here goes in the same way kicked it over and I'm swinging it around and dropping these last two into place they go click click and you know it's snapped in there nice and as you can see my left hand right there the nice straight line across the top right there where the screw is pointed yep and then you put your first screw right there in your pre-drill holes should be five of those going down that spline of the wall panel there that ladder is a nice perfect trusted ladder for these assemblies on all the sheds I always have that ladder it's great to have okay so you put the five screws in and your first and second panel are connected you go to your it's going to be the right side wall is where I'm at there drop in a straight panel and you just kick it over, yep, a little bit to the right there. A couple of kicks. Sometimes you use that little wood block that you see that's on the ladder and a little mallet at the very bottom on the left of that panel and give it a couple of taps. I might have done that just there. And you put those screws in, zip, zip, and then on to your next panel. Should be two panels there on the right before you get to your rear corner. Make sure that one's in correctly the same way. Drop it in, kick it over to the right a little bit. And there's that little wood block if needed you give it a couple of taps at the bottom edge of that panel these seem to be going perfectly so you get your f uh, first four wall panels set up here I'm just centering it looks like oh yeah I'm pulling it away from the wall this particular one you gotta have a little space to get that rear wall panel on so I slid it off of that foundation there boom so I can get this wall panel on it goes just like you see here see the extra space you need you can fold it a little bit but it's got to go drop in just like the other wall panels drops into those two holes and then kick it over to the right and you got to have some space back there to get some leverage and move it over bump it to the right as you could see right there perfectly illustrated and then uh, yeah you want to have uh, eighth to a quarter of an inch inward on that so that panel lines up nice and perfect swings the corner around pull it down and it went click click oh yeah I need that and then you can attach it to the previous panel right there boom make sure you have a nice straight line across just like a clothes line is what I call that right where my thumb was there boom nice straight line that'll ensure when you go to do the roof and the gables everything's just lined up right on the money on to the next panel drops in the same way you're going to get a solid panel and then the next panel after this is going to be that window see how it's all staged to the left there nice perfect ready to go that will be the center of the back wall where their window is going to be and then I'm putting that first panel in straight solid panel going down that spline with the five screws snugging them up remember set your torque on your drill gun halfway to low side oh here's a great example of the block Here's the wood block. Make sure the panels are nice tight run is what you want. See this groove here? You line it right in the groove just like you see here side. Give it a couple of taps just like that. Perfect little illustration of how this block can be used to line those panels up nice. Get a good tight fit on all the panels. By the time you get to the corner on the other side, you won't have any overlap. It'll be right where it needs to go. On to the next panel. Drops into those holes just like you see there. Just like all the other panels, the window panel drops in the same way 
give it a couple of taps there with the foot so it bumps to the right make sure I have a straight line on the top nice closed line and then put your first top screw it looks like there's a little gap there but yeah I can hold it with my thumb nice straight line right there go down the line with four more screws one two three four screw that panel in securely the window panel and then sometimes like right after this I give it a couple of more taps on that next piece with the block make sure each run you have what three middle panels total on that back wall because it's a smaller size shed and then boom the next panel already on and then you'll see here with the keeping a nice tight run on that back wall it should make this panel go on nice and perfectly Just drops it in give it a couple taps here a couple of kicks with the foot um, swing the side around there a little bit of a tight space but as you can see I have just enough space between that back wall to get this panel in there pull down either from the back side or maybe from the inside I might come around the inside sometimes pull this panel it looks like it did not go in all the way right there oh, there you go pull down a little click click it should make a click sound that's good uh, reassurance that it's in correctly when you hear that noise or it's in there yeah correctly when you hear that noise then I come to the side, make sure that clothes line there is nice and straight, hold them together. Get your first screw in there and it usually holds it right where it has to go. So yeah, nice straight line there. Put in the next screws all the way down the line. Boom, boom. Sometimes you might want to double check the bottom there and make sure that the panel is in, actually incorrectly. Uh, and you just look at the bottom, if you see a little gap there, right in that corner on the right hand side of the corner then you know you might have to take those screws out and uh, just pop the panel out and then make sure it clicks in correctly and then go through and put it in I've done that a few times when needed so yeah if you check each panel at the bottom run there make sure all of the plugs are plugged into the flooring that's what you want to do as you go along because you know if you're not checking them at the bottom and one needs to be plugged in you're gonna to have to get to the end here and you're gonna to have to open up or take out all the panels to get to one of the ones in the back to take it out and then plug it in re-plug it in a second time correctly so here's a the last corner on the front side boom boom oh, I had to pull down on that one pretty much uh, but clicks clicks right into place two clicks sometimes they click at the same time and they both go in at the same time looks uh, good here yeah got a nice straight line there bead at the top going down the spline with the four more screws and after this one should be uh, to your left there the the other side panel that has the window in it will be your next panel thumbs up so far so good and then that will be yeah like it's it'll look just like the one on the right there with the window your next panel I'm just putting the rails here for the shelf to give some stability usually sometimes I put that for extra stability this one looks like you know its walls aren't going anywhere they look good so I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, last window panel in here you go is a great example of the bushing they show you to put these in when you're doing the flooring boom 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 just take that little black bushing out a little circular shape a little roundy round so yeah drop this next panel in your last one same as all the others kick it over you can see there snugs up nice tight fit my left hand is holding it and then zip 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 zipped it on so yeah on to section 8 18 and 8 19 the wall support bar that goes on these uh, this last panel here and then should be another one on the opposite side where the door is going to be on the other side which would have been your first panel you put on yep goes right there staged perfectly it looks like the shelves have been put up, put up there I noticed that adds for the integrity holds all the panels right where they're supposed to go it's good to put the shelf on usually at this time either yeah as you go along or right when the walls are up and there you have it folks nice another rubber toe assembly uh, section here of the 10 by 8 shed thanks for watching you guys appreciate that any questions you have, feel free to check it out. Um, other videos as well. Make things easy. Rubber toe over now. Thanks.